yo hello and welcome to another video and this one will be about a crazy story again yeah something that happened in my life and i did only one video in this series already yeah with the 400 gamers and the four employees i believe that was uh yeah, almost that wasn't even last year that was the year before and um I think I just pick up here because uh, a lot of stuff has happened and I wasn't really, um, I couldn't decide yeah, which one I tell first because um, I had the choice between, let's say, the craziest day of my life and um, another one that was also pretty, pretty unbelievable. Um, but yeah, I go for the craziest thing, so there's no chronological order and this one will this one happened in um yeah in the night or yeah it happened on on 21st april 2010 so this was like uh, almost 14 years ago and um back then i was still studying uh, if you read on my profile i dropped out of college twice i couldn't finish but this will change obviously i have my life under control now more or less um at least my body and with that everything else falls into place as well and yeah so what happened during that day well everything started yeah to to get into this yeah you i have to tell you what happened before everything started on 11th march 2010 yeah i don't know if i can say it but back then uh, i won't say any names but back then i was um yeah, writing with another woman you know like um writing with someone and like letters yeah like the old-fashioned way and um yeah she wanted to visit me and so on you know and you know romantic stuff and all that stuff um but back then i lived in in a yeah, with other students you know like i lived in an apartment with two other guys and the apartment from yeah, what i can say was probably the worst where i have where i had ever lived yeah um the view was nice yeah i call it my prison cell i lived there for 10 years you know and it took me 10 years to get out of there and um how i got out of there was also crazy um uh, someone tried to stab me with a big knife yeah he demolished the entire flat but this is another 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 story yeah um so 11th march 2010 she told me that it is over basically you know that she doesn't want to know anything from me anymore or whatever yeah that she made her way free yeah for another guy and uh i was pissed you know i mean obviously you know i i denied her you know i told her she can't come here and um then everything else fell into place you know and um I can't, I can't really complain about that, but everything happens for a reason, you know. But back then I was so insecure that, um, yeah, I was a bit mad. I was a bit, I wasn't just sad. I was also a bit angry, you know, I was disappointed and I started to train, you know. And um, I did a lot of, uh, uh, I was into boxing back then, you know, did a lot of shadow boxing and all that stuff, you know, and this was... Uh, my way how to get back into shape a little bit but it's no comparison to what i'm doing now you know like back in the days i hadn't figured out the the body game and now i have it uh, like i have six pack and everything now and i never had that before yeah so um and it is quite easy to maintain yeah uh, it's less effort than everybody might think um so i trained for like six weeks right uh, six weeks 11th march 2010 exactly to to the 20th of april yeah the the day starts the 21st starts the day before yeah back then i was also drinking a lot of wine yeah you can you can see it also on my profiles on social media um yeah i uh drank a bottle of wine basically every day but when this happened i i quit you know like 11th march 2010 i quit wine for like six weeks i didn't drink a bottle now uh, let's say five weeks yeah and then i got back into it you know i was i was in shape i lost like i don't know 15 kilograms during that time um because i practiced i trained every day like crazy um because I said to myself, no more of this bullshit. And, uh, but yeah, this is, this is how I handled the situation. And, but then I was back into the, to the, to drinking wine, you know, I, I had a bottle, had another bottle and, um, 
yeah i was back into it and all the training was basically yeah whatever you know so couldn't maintain anything and so my mindset wasn't really strong back then but um yeah so now is 20th april 2010 all right so i decided all right today i I remember it was a tuesday it was a tuesday um it was the end of the week in world of warcraft yeah the reset was always on on wednesday in europe and um i bought a bottle of wine yeah i usually bought a bottle every time i bought something to eat and so on you know so i bought a bottle of wine i drank it it was like 6 p.m I was like, ah, fuck, this is not enough. So I went to the store and bought another two bottles of wine, yeah, after I drank that one bottle. So now I had three bottles of wine and I drank them over the evening. Um, I went to the Ventrilo. That was basically like TeamSpeak or Discord. Yeah, back then people used TeamSpeak or Ventrilo or uh, there was also another one, I don't know, uh, for, for communication. Yeah, and I was there with another woman. I have never seen her before. She was part of... Uh, one guild I was raiding with back then and she was tattooed from I don't know she had a lot of tattoos and a lot of metal in her face that is what people told me but I never um, saw her picture or whatever I didn't want to I didn't care um, she had a nice voice I think she was from Bavaria like Munich the region um, but I'm not sure I don't even, re- even remember her name but um not even the in-game name but uh we were talking i was drunk she was talking i was talking and at like yeah the the you know was was nice conversation and so on and then my two bottles of wine were empty and i was like oh, come on i, I just want to go to the gas station and buy another two bottles <laughs> whatever right <laughs> this is this, this, this is this is this evening was too too good, you know. I just I just wanna uh, conserve that feeling, you know, or how how do you uh, save it, you know, like have it in me, you know. Wanna keep it a little bit longer. So it was um, three thirty a.m. twenty first already. No, it was three a.m. Like or no, mm, no two. I don't know. Like three a.m. something like that, or two thirty. Like was in the middle of that night, and I've told her. I asked her to wait and. Then I went out to the gas station to buy two more bottles of wine. Gas station was probably like 500 meters away from my apartment, roundabout. Um, So I went out. So April, I remember what I was wearing. With a white button shirt, button shirt and um, a a thin jacket. And I was in the shape of my life. Uh, Like back then, at least I was like, I don't know, 96 kilograms. Now I'm like 80. Um, but back then I, I was I was in good shape. I was agile. I was ready. I was ready to fight. You know. I, imagine. Yeah. I I have trained for six weeks straight. You know, going absolutely crazy mode. Yeah. And so I come out, open the door, and I hear woman voices. You know. I was. It heard. It sounded like two women far away. I was like, oh, this will be interesting. And <laughs> three bottles of wine in. You know, like all right let's go so i it was dark you know i and only on one side of the street were uh, like lamps so i had to cross the street usually i don't have to because uh because uh, the gas station is right on the side where i was starting but i wanted to cross because there were lights and you know with all the dogs and so on you don't wanna you don't wanna uh step into you don't want to make a wrong step you know what i mean that was what i was afraid of so i uh changed uh, the the side of the street so cross that one and walk the other side so um also the tram lines and all that stuff you know it goes uh like the for the train you know it, it goes it goes also there and you know it's it's a it's a it's a wide street pretty wide so so then I was on the other side and I was just walking and walking and walking and when I came closer I realized um, that we're not two women walking and having fun that was just one woman um, screaming for help. <sighs> yeah, middle of the night, I'm drunk, yeah? one woman screaming for help and all right. So I just jogged over there, you know, like running, like, you know, I was fit. Um, 
because I decided immediately if I don't if I don't walk up there, you know, then I couldn't live with myself. So um, yeah, I I went up there, and there was a guy, you know, big guy. I would say probably not as tall as I was, but definitely wider and and bigger. And uh, he held her, you know, and she was trying to get away and was screaming for help and all that stuff, you know, and crying and all that stuff. And oh, goodness, and I came closer and I've told him, yo, man, let her go, you know, like in the in the calmest voice ever, you know, like everything is under control. Nothing happened yet. You know, it will be fine. But the guy was looking at me and was yelling at me and in German, um, no, I don't. He he was screaming like the, like this is his his woman or whatever or his wife or whatever. It, it's basically the same the same pronunciation or whatever in German. So I couldn't really tell, but she was definitely or they seemed to be a couple, whatever. But it didn't make any sense. So he she was yeah uh, he was yelling at me and this is this is my woman and I was like oh come on uh, I tried again. Man, you in this direction, she in this direction, and everything will be fine, okay? And uh, he was still yelling at me, you know, this is my woman, what do you want, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right. And I was just standing there relaxed, you know, and it's not like in the movies or whatever, you know, where you, where you swing at someone, you know. I was just, I have trained, yeah, I made a fist as hard as I could. So yeah, this is, this is now 18 plus content, I don't know. Um, so I made a fist. I didn't, I didn't swing at him like crazy. It was just going, you know, it was pretty close. And when he looked at me, I, after I tried a third time and he wasn't reacting, I just punched him straight in the face, you know, it made boom, you know, and while I was, I wasn't swinging, but while my fist was moving towards his face, I was thinking to myself, you know, all right, Alex, if you are lucky, you wake up in the hospital tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, but then I hit him and uh, he wasn't fighting back. He grabbed his face immediately. He made a noise like, uh, like, uh, and then he went, went down, you know, like backwards and uh, uh, then got up again. And I was like, All right, this was it, I guess. And she was uh bending over him i didn't want that i didn't want that i didn't know i was like oh no and i've told her go home yeah go home and then i remembered okay what i wanted to do buy two bottles of wine at the gas station and um there was one yeah old drink drinking guy coming towards me yeah he just bought a lot of beer or whatever and i asked him if he has a phone that i can call the police or whatever you know because I knocked someone out and uh, he was, oh, I don't, I don't have a phone, blah, 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 you know. So then I crossed the street because it was right in front of the gas station, basically, just on the other side. Yeah, I reached my destination, basically. Um, all right. So I went to the gas station and you have to know um, in, in Germany after 10 p.m. They are all closed. Yeah, you can't enter anymore. Yeah, you have to speak through a microphone Yeah, and through through the window and... On the other side is someone that uh, speaks also through a microphone and then they uh, give you what you want. But I told her that, um, yeah, <clears throat> asked her if she can call the police because I knocked someone out across the street. And uh, she did that. And then I saw the guy getting up again and walking towards me. And I asked again politely if I can come in because I wanted to buy two bottles of wine. So she opened the door for me and then she closed it again. And um, I didn't want to have another interaction with this guy because now he was prepared, basically. Yeah. Um, not that I was scared, but, uh, you know, if we could avoid it, then just avoid it. And um, yeah, I bought the two bottles of wine, not good wine. Yeah, don't buy wine at a gas station. It's always expensive and it doesn't taste that good. And um, but I wanted to have these two bottles and yeah. So there I was waiting for the police, but the police didn't arrive first, despite the fact that their main building was just 200 meters away. Um, the ambulance arrived first. They took care of him. And then the police arrived and they asked me questions, you know, and they split up and one guy asked him and another guy asked me and I was telling, you know, what, how I told it to you, you know, I was just 
on the way here buying two bottles of wine, you know, having a good time. And then I heard that woman screaming for help and blah, blah, blah. I asked him like three times to, to let go of her and he didn't, he didn't do it. And she was crying and screaming for help and blah, 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 you know. And um, then I just punched him in the face and... And uh, then I said, I, I hope he is all right. You know, uh, how, how is he feeling? How is he doing? And then the other policeman arrived and heard that. And that guy laughed, laughed, you know, smiled, not, not smiled. He laughed, he laughed straight into my face, you know, and told me that the nose is, is garbage, basically, you know, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then he also told me that the guy was happy that someone came. So imagine, yeah, I saved this woman, I saved this guy's relationship, and uh, yeah, I am with two bottles of wine. I wanted, you know, I, I told them also that I'm drunk, and I wanted to make an alcohol test, so I did that. I had 1.44, yeah, on it. So for anyone who who drinks, you know, I never, I never knew how much, how much uh, I had. So I had 1.44 per mil, I guess. Is it? Is it? In Germany, we call it Promille, and I think um, in I don't know what it is called in English, but I think I pronounced it right. Let me check it up. Yeah, Promille. You know, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, one point four four. There was another guy in the gas station who was only drinking beer. He did an alcohol test as well. He had like two point five, and I was like, "What the fuck?" And this guy seemed completely normal. Um, then I went home and uh, police asked me what uh, where I'm going and I said just home. Oh yeah, I asked I asked them also if I go to prison now, you know. And they were like um, the oh goodness, what is it called? State attorney, state attorney. Yeah, they will they will get in contact with me and blah blah blah. But um, nobody came, so um, this was completely fine, I guess. And yeah was just helping that woman and gg but here the day isn't over yet yeah this is just this is just a warm-up yeah so crazy enough yeah crazy enough already um then i went home in the apartment with the two other guys and um i drank my two bottles of wine now it was like six six in the morning yeah I knocked on the doors because I was too excited, you know, I told them the stories, my teeth were completely red from the wine, <laughs> and um, yeah, I told them what happened, you know, and blah, 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 and then I asked uh, asked um, one of them to, to wake me up at like 11.30 something, 12 noon, yeah, because I had to uh, go to university that day as well, yeah, chemistry, and um, yeah. I got up at like 12, whatever, yeah, and um, then went to university and at 12.30, and I remember it started at 1 p.m. regularly, yeah, 1 p.m. to 7 p.m., yeah, so six, six hours of experimentation, yeah, and I arrived there and I told my friends there that, um, yeah, what happened the day before, you know, or the night before or this morning, you know, that they knocked someone out and police came and all that stuff. And then I, I still had hangover like crazy, five bottles of wine. So I bought um, like a sandwich and a bottle of water or whatever, right, yeah, right there. There was some, yeah, you could you could buy right in front of the, of the chemistry, uh, right in front of a laboratory yeah you could could buy that stuff and um, yeah i did that and just to have something in my body something better than just alcohol you know and um it was it was kind of crazy yeah like um they couldn't believe what happened and i couldn't believe it either but uh, here we are and how this goes usually yeah laboratory and experimentation all that stuff you have usually um like uh yeah first first hour is like um yeah the like phd guy explaining what 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 is the experiment all about you know what you have to do in the laboratory and you have to make notes you know and i was i was still ha i still had hangover you know i had my my paper in front of me like my 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 page my, yeah, my paper empty empty paper you know like empty pages and I had my pen in the hand, you know, and I wanted to, to write, but um, I was, you know, brain was too slow, you know, and I was like, oh, yeah, whatever, he's already at the next topic, oh, okay, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And everybody was writing like two pages, two pages, and my, my papers were completely empty after that. I was like, shit, what am I doing now? I have nothing. So experiment started, and before they let you experiment, you have to do a test, you know. 
and I was doing the test and they I barely passed it. They asked me a question, I couldn't answer it, but they let me experiment anyways. Yeah. I was I was at the edge of, of not doing it, you know? So then the experiment started. Here we are for six hours, yeah. And you do um, like some kind of elimination tests. Yeah, you do certain tests, and then you can see, okay, it's that product, that product, or that product, or whatever. You know what is in there. You had to find uh, all the stuff that was was in there. What they were giving you. Yeah, they were giving you an example, and you had to find out exactly what is in there. And you did all the tests, and all my tests were negative. Yeah, nothing was positive. I couldn't identify anything. Yeah, so what the fuck? It was complete nonsense for me. Yeah, and uh, when when people finished, you know, they left the laboratory, and um, it, the room became emptier and emptier. And the guy next to me, my friend, he also didn't have anything, and he was like, um, "Yeah, we we have to guess it. Yeah, we we." That, that makes no sense. We have to guess it. And uh, so, yeah, we, we, we knew what was in there, like overall, what, what could it be, you know? But we knew what, what it wasn't because we did certain tests and uh, the tests were negative, so it couldn't be that one, you know? So, um, or that and that and that, you know? So we could eliminate already like a lot of stuff, yeah? And uh, before that happened, I had one incident. Um, I was mixing up stuff together and uh, everything was boiling over and my complete table was uh, covered in, uh, in, in, in chemicals and all that stuff. And all my friends next to me were rushing towards me and cleaning it up and telling me, dude, shut the fuck up. They are kicking you out here <laughs> because I was still drunk and didn't know shit you know i was i was completely i was completely out of place there yeah i was i was i don't know but then um yeah uh, my friend he he guessed it and uh he came back and he had almost everything correct you know like they gave him like uh, what is it like two plus or whatever for that and then he had a second chance to guess again yeah like uh like one is best and two is uh second best you know so just saying and uh I had to guess as well, and uh, yeah, I guessed everything right. Yeah, <laughs> I got I got a one on it. Yeah, I was everything was correct. It was it was perfect, and I don't know how this happened, but yeah, it was perfect. And uh, I think we had to clean up the room as well because um, we were the last guys. But I'm not sure. Could be that another team had to do it. Like um, they were pre-assigned, but um, yeah, if you are the last, uh, you know. <sighs> And then the day was over, basically, yeah. I, I went out there, the sun was shining, I believe. Like, it was it was really cool, and uh, I remember that. And late evening, and yeah, this was basically it. So, what do you think? <laughs> Crazy day, right? Like, first uh, getting drunk, punching a guy in the face, saving a woman from, you know, <laughs> and yeah. Than going to university and having such a such a time, I don't know. Uh, th this was this was the most unbelievable unbelievable thing that happened. There, there's other stuff, but this is definitely like from the from the density of crazy stuff yeah, that happened in one day. This is definitely an outlier. This is this is this is the day so far. But yeah, this was it already, and I hope you enjoyed the story and. Um, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.